trapped on a drifting rooftop, this family's life raft is heading for a collision with a bridge, and its passengers are powerless to stop it. Only one child will be saved from this brutal tragedy. This is one of the many ordeals brought in by the arrival of Tropical Storm Quetzana, which hit the western part of the Philippines this weekend. 80% of the capital, Manila, has succumbed to flooding as a result. And with a population of around 12 million people, the death toll is rising. As the floodwaters recede, a notion of mud is left behind. 500,000 people have already been displaced and survivors are struggling to cope. Our community has nothing to eat. We cannot find anything to eat. A lack of drinking water and food and worsening sanitary conditions have left the army and rescue workers overwhelmed by the situation. The government has asked the international community for humanitarian aid. With its marine tropical climate, which is typical in Southeast Asia, the Philippines are no strangers to typhoons and the torrential rains of the summer monsoon. But the devastation left by Kitsana has reached new highs because it hit the country's biggest urban conurbation, which is largely unregulated and populated by a number of shanty towns. This tropical storm is the latest in a series of weather-related disasters that have hit the region with a disturbing frequency. At the beginning of August, Typhoon Morakot struck the Philippines, but it was Taiwan, lying further north, which paid the heaviest price. Floods and landslides claimed the lives of 500 people and caused more than 100 million euros worth of damage. China evacuated 1 million people from its southeastern coastal provinces as Morakot approached. The formation of typhoons and tropical storms depends on the variation of temperatures on the ocean's surface. So some scientists believe that there could be a link to global warming. Over the past 35 years, typhoons have certainly increased in size and power. But there isn't enough data to confirm categorically that there is a connection. Kitsana has come at a significant time. World leaders are currently discussing how best to protect the planet from global warming. The devastation left in the Philippines could remind him just what is at stake. If this type of natural disaster becomes more frequent as the world warms up, pictures like these could serve as a window into the future.